Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. This is a physics honors video for Snell's Law. Not Smell's Law, not, not your brother's feet, but Snell's Law. And this is how light is going to interact or refract with different mediums. So let's get to it and let's learn a little bit about Smelly's Law. So Snell's Law was uh, developed by a guy named Rudolf Snellius. Yeah, that was his name. He was not quite a ladies' man. And you can see what happens here is when an incident ray comes in, to a surface. Now we know from our previous video that some of that light ray will reflect and it's always going to reflect at the exact same angle. We call that the angle of incidence and we would call this the angle of reflection and remember that angle is exactly the same. But some of that ray is going to refract and you can see some of that ray went into the medium, bended, and refracted. Now you can see how this angle right here is going to be less than this angle of incidence. We call this the angle of refraction. And this angle of refraction, since it's less, we know this medium is going to have a greater uh, index of refraction, the greater N2. And so you can see this would be something like going from air which is an index of refraction of one into something like corn oil or something like uh, flint glass or something like uh, fused quartz. And so you can see the light ray is slowing down. The wavelength is going to be different, but remember the frequency stays the same. And the equation for Snell's law is right here. It is Ni, that's the index of refraction of the incident ray, that's medium one, times sine of the angle of incidence is equal to nr, that's the second medium, sine of theta r, which is the angle of refraction. So I'm going to show you a few problems uh, to help you to be able to go through your self-assessment and be able to learn Snell's Law. So here you can see we have an angle coming in in air. And what do we know about air? Air has an index refraction of 1.00. We don't know the index of refraction for the second medium, but we know the first angle, this is theta i, is 50 degrees. It's refracting at 30.71 degrees. So remember, we always write our equation. We substitute what is ni, that's 1.00 because it's air, okay? Sine of theta i, remember it's coming in at 50 degrees. You gotta stay consistent, which means everything on this top side is gonna go on one side of the equation. On the second side of the equation, we have nr sine of 30.71 degrees. And you can see when we do this on a calculator, we're going to do 1 times sine of 50. Sine of 50 is going to be 0.766 on this side equals nr sine of 30.71. That is going to give us 0.5107 and you're going to divide divide that 0 0.5107 on both sides here 0 0.5107 that cancels out over here and my nr my index of refraction is going to be 1.50 i can look and that is going to be lucite glass right there okay so that is when we're we've been given one angle and another angle and we're finding the index of refraction but we have another type of problem right here where you can see they gave us the index of refraction of glass right here. They gave us the angle of refraction, which is 25 degrees. Okay. They gave us air, that index of, refraction, of incidence right there. But we don't know this. This is our big unknown. So again, we're going to plug in what we know. You can see air is 1.00 sine of theta i. I don't know what theta i is. Remember, stay consistent. Everything on one side goes on one side of the equation. We know it is going into glass, 1.52. We know the angle when it's in glass is 25 degrees right there. And so you can see, we can, on a calculator, you just do 1.52 sine of 25 degrees and try it on your calculator. You should get 0.64238. And we divide by 1, it's going to be the same answer, and sine of theta i. Now, you might say, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the algebra of sine of theta is. Well, if you, on your calculator, your sign button, if you press second or shift, second sign, 
you're going to see it's going to bring up a thing that says sine to the negative 1. That's dividing by sine. That's called arc sine. And so we have 0.64238 right there. And when you do that on your calculator, make sure you try that on your calculator, you end up getting approximately 40 degrees. And you're going to be getting 39.99, uh, something like that. But it's about 40 degrees. And you can see that looks good at 40 degrees right there. And that is our answer for theta i. So that's Snell's Law. Make sure you go to MrAiden.com. Make sure you go and do the Snell's Law self-assessment. And that will kind of take you through each one of those problems to try. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next video.